Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm right here with the new Mercedes A-Class uh, hatchback and I'm really happy to present you. Uh, I will show you the interior exterior of the car and um, I try to show you every single detail. So here is the key. The key is very light and very nice. Um, it is super super fancy and it's also super light. Uh, you just have to have it with you in your pocket because you can open the, the car uh, only with your hand in your finger you can lock it because it has a uh, keyless entrance so uh, let's start the review and then uh, we will talk at the end guys so first time we will start with the exterior of the car uh, and I will show you a little bit around the car here guys uh, the car is super super nice and it has also a super interesting shape so you can see the shape it's it's well made for the aerodynamic it has amazing aerodynamic and a better consumption because if you see down here the the design of the car the the front of the car it's made it's, it's really improved for aerodynamic and also the back of the car it's improved for aerodynamic so the car has a very good consumption um, uh, with whatever engine you use the car has fantastic consumption also you can see the front of the car the new grille look gorgeous the full LED lamp there the lines of the car look fantastic and that make the car much more sportier and angrier I really like this front of the car even the rims here, we have this uh, beautiful black IMJ rims uh, and we have the Bridgestone tires. I think those are uh, Turanza T005, you can see there, those are the best uh, summer tires in 2019 and also 19 inch wheels. We have ventilated disc as you see and also Mercedes-Benz logo on the brake caliper uh, the car looks super nice here we have some air exhaust for example for aerodynamic for technical uh, things you can see the air go here and then go out uh, there for a better aerodynamic and also this bumper and those lines here uh, it's look it's make the car looking very very good and in the same time it's very useful for the aerodynamic that's why the ground clearance is very small uh, that make uh, the car perfect for aerodynamic and also we have six parking sensors uh, in the front only super fancy car have this so you can see the parking sensors uh, down there and also here on the grill uh, behind this logo behind this big logo we have the radar for adaptive cruise control emergency brake um, and all that cool technology also we have a front camera also this front camera you don't see it on many cars in this class this is really impressive that you find it here on this uh, A class and also we have daylight LED daylight full LED adaptive uh, LED light in the night uh, are fantastic great job Mercedes also you can see the signature here Mercedes Benz on them and also the lines super nice the front of the car is nice and I like very very much this front this front look fantastic this bumper looks super nice super super nice also going up here we have the cameras for uh, lane assist right there the cameras for lane assist and for the uh, reading the traffic uh, signs now um, let's go in the back for a moment and show you this full LED light in the back as well uh, super fancy and they look nice they have a round round design the same as in the bay class uh, they begin to make rounded cars that's super good for aerodynamic they did a great job and also look how cool uh, look those exhaust pipes uh, kind of fake exhaust pipes there and also the air diffuser down there look gorgeous gorgeous the air diffuser look fantastic we have 
parking sensors as well six parking sensors you can see in the back super nice some uh, light reflector wire red there they are very useful as well and the design in the back look super nice I love it also here the spoiler the air spoiler here look nice we have some plastic black glossy that goes directly in the back and the air come floating like this and the aerodynamic of the car it's, it's super nice also I forget to tell you if you are from Switzerland you can come at Mercedes-Benz in Bern they have fantastic cars a lot of cars here a great price and also you can check out on the internet there is the website so you have all the information there now what I want to do before I go forward closing the LED light because I want to keep the battery closing the door and let's go forward let's show you this mirror we have a blind spot here on the mirror you can also see it there um, nice nice very nice mirrors LED light here on the mirror black mirrors glossy black uh, they passed very well the mirrors with the rims uh, they are super nice and also if, if you can see now the edges of the car they make it with glossy plastic black glossy plastic I see these days many car factory um, they do that on the cars and this is a very very cool stuff and I like it very much I also like these handles you can see the handles are in uh, chrome a little bit of chrome and half uh, not chrome and you can also lock and unlock the car I just show you for example here you lock the car and if you put your hand you unlock the car you just have to have the key in your pocket so great great stuff and it's also work very nice here we have a line that go from here to the other side of the car that make the car look much more uh, sportier and much more cooler it give a little bit of sportiness also the down part here uh, make the car look much more sportier super nice I like that very much really cool really cool going in the trunk right now um, I have to tell you the car have a back camera right here it's hiding here when you go in reverse this will open and the camera will go in the back we have LED light on the number plate you can also see it and uh, the trunk is not automatic so it's manually lift gate here we have an LED light up here also two handles very useful here we have a trunk protection it's very light I like that they make it very light I see it on the Mercedes B class as well so this is a great thing great job Mercedes also here you can take it out very easy I like that the entrance in the trunk have some plastic here and then we have kind of uh, 10 centimeter here space under the floor also uh, a lot of space in the left in the right here we have LED light up there hooks in every corner uh, super nice for for such a small car in this class we have much more space than in the previous model the previous model doesn't have so much space uh, and I like that better here we have the repair kit and some stuff like medical kit and all that things and also the speaker for the music super cool uh, nice I like that I really like it great job great job Mercedes it's very big a lot of space here I like that also I like the fact that you can open every single piece of the seats you can fold it down if you want to carry uh, big items or long items so let's open the, the car and then here in the middle we have this center armrest leather center armrest and then we have here the two cup holders pretty cool interesting design the way they do it and also when you want to open this you just press this button and then you fold it down so you can carry long items here without any problem you can see from the back uh, if you go to skis or stuff uh, this is a pretty pretty cool thing that you can do it also you can fold down the other seat and then you have almost a flat floor here so you can carry many many things also a lot of space down there 
uh, for other things. This is a little bit bigger, this headrest, so you cannot adjust it, if you see in other part, because they put these sport seats on the car. I prefer the normal seat. Uh, if you see my other video with Mercedes B-Class, you, you see what I mean, you understand what I mean. Those are sport seats, so you cannot adjust it and you have not so good visibility from the passenger side. And here you have not so much space because of this uh, headrest. But the normal seats, they will be super nice and you have still a lot of space there. But this thing make, these folding seats make the car uh, carry bigger items and uh, it's super super enough for me, I think it's super cool uh, that you can leave it like that so you can fold it like that folding back the seat um, I'm not sure if the seat is in my position I just want to go in the front really fast and then let's adjust the seat in my driving position we have electric seats here so right now it's in my driving position yes I think like that. Let's go in the back to see how much space I have in the back. But before I see the, the space, I want to start with the windows. And I have to say two words. Those windows are very long, very big. Uh, I think you have a fantastic visibility because all the windows are on the door and no windows here. So window is here because it's too long. They put this here, but they put it very small and this make the car have a better visibility so this is cool uh, the quality on the door I don't even need to tell you we have a Mercedes here fantastic quality we have leather up here Alcantara down here super nice speaker with some chrome around it uh, the handles also chrome we have also the Alcantara with red stitches here the, the button look fantastic, the chrome here look very nice, we have a uh, storage space, plastic and again the speaker down there, great quality, nice, nice, I'm really curious to see the space in the car, the entrance in the car it's quite big, you can see, uh, they make it quite bigger, here we have some plastic on the side and then let's go inside to the door, the, the seats, leather seats, uh, sport leather seats you can see here the, the headrest you cannot adjust it there the middle one you can adjust it but the other one not uh, the quality it's it's gorgeous it's perfect we have Alcantara in the middle great quality they are a little bit harder the same like in my car and this harder seat make it hard for long trips so you have pain in on your butt when you drive long roads but you have side support uh, the quality is fantastic no words about that so you have to know the sport cars are not made for long trips closing the door and see the space uh, but before you see the space wait a second I want to show you here in the middle we have those two vents um, as you know one of my favorites in all the cars I love those vents from Mercedes glossy plastic super good quality amazing quality down here two USB-C port and the space fantastic great job amazing USB very useful here a big step in the middle but I like the fact it's not so fat so it's not so fat so uh, it doesn't take much much place there so the seats and the space now because those seats are sport seats and they are very big they take up a lot of space for example you can see even so, with this space, with these big seats, if you take the, the normal seats, you will have much more space. But even so, I have a lot of space on my knee. Uh, on my legs a little bit, not so much, but just a little bit, not like in the B class, but just a little bit. You have to take in consideration this car has a better uh, aerodynamic and also um, better consumption and it's a sporty car. The headspace, four fingers without any problem. For me, it's perfect. I can't complain about the space in this car, really can't complain, I sit really good, um, maybe the seats are a little bit too strong, um, I really prefer more comfort and not sport, but if you want a sporty car, it's perfect, great, great quality, also the visibility on the windows, as I told you, it's great, it's great visibility. Uh, if this thing was not here, was perfect, 
but even so the visibility it's fantastic and no complaining at all up here we have an LED light great quality uh, look fantastic also the roof quality it's, it's really good uh, I like the roof quality I like everything about this car even the feeling of being here it's amazing they do it with big big taste also um, now let's go let's go in the middle going in the middle is not so hard and my first impression is that I have a lot of space on my knee even though this seat is way in the back uh, I still have a lot of space on my knee and also for the left uh, passenger it's cool also I like this panoramic glass roof up there it's very nice it's not all over the roof it's just the front kind of half maybe more than half but it's cool I like it also Headspace, four fingers, no problem at all. I like the headspace. If I go a little bit in the front, I really have a great, great position. Another person here with no problem can stay here also on this side. No problem at all uh, for three people here. It's kind of cool. I did, I'm, I'm really impressed that you can stay three people here. Not for long trips, but it's no problem at all. Anyway. Uh, I think I'm finished with the back of the car. The seats you already see, it, the sport seats. I think many people like these sport seats. So let's go out now, guys. Let's go to the front to show you the rest. So now the front of the car, guys. Here we have the big window, so you have a great visibility. Uh, this is pretty awesome. And then the quality of the doors. It is super nice, you know, Mercedes make fantastic doors, the same as in the back. Great, great quality. Here are the buttons for electric adjustable seats. Manually save the position, the, the, the position of the seats. Also, a heated seat here. We have Alcantara leather up here. Only the down part, it's with plastic. And then we have this LED light, the speaker here, and those buttons for electric. Uh, electric windows and also for the mirror so you can adjust it from here very simple the quality of the buttons it's great and also the design of the door it's super nice we have Mercedes-Benz logo down here also great great with LED inside uh, it looks nice in the night some lumbar part adjustment electric from here and those sporty seats you can also see it they look super nice uh, they are very cool and you can see the red stitches we can see the Alcantara here in the middle the side support we have side supports here also you can adjust this the way you want it pretty awesome uh, they are super super nice also on the roof we have this glass roof that look pretty pretty nice as well aluminium pedals that uh, great great stuff as well uh, I like that very much going inside the car now guys and just the vents are super nice guys and inside here we have some led light they look fantastic they are one of the best on the market today you don't find better vents like that the visibility outside on the mirrors on the mirrors on the uh, windows oh, it's great also the mirrors are super nice uh, and you can see very well in the mirrors outside visibility around the car it's great uh, no problem at all maybe a little bit of blind spot there in the back but you have a back camera and you have 360 degrees camera in this car I will show you in the moment um, I will show you in the moment we will get there also the quality on the roof it's super good and also here we have a microphone up here also mirror LED light right here super cool great quality on the roof also here it is super nice uh, we have here the the LED light and SOS button and also we have those other button for for example for this you can but I have to start the engine first time wait a second and then wait a second I don't want music here and you can close this or you can open it the way you want it so this is pretty awesome that you have a lot of air here you can also open it completely so if you want to have more air and you want to feel a little bit like uh, 
like more air to come inside the car you can also open this um, this sun it's pretty pretty easy anyway uh, the mirror it's also big and nice and you have great great visibility there in the back uh, now the dashboard it's super good quality soft material we have a head-up display there I think you can see it the head-up display it's very good quality uh, and you see all the information there even the navigation system it's right there uh, on the screen on the head-up display the quality of the of the dashboard it's nice soft material everywhere uh, we have ambient light you can see the ambient light there with the chrome design some chrome design but this chrome it's made uh, not glossy so it's kind of a chrome it's kind of a strange design but very beautiful in the same time I like the way they made it and also I like the vents I like the colors you know already from my other videos that you can change the colors from here if you go to comfort here you can change the color uh, inside the ambient light you can change the colors for example blue red the way you want fire red fire red and then it's changing immediately all the all the all the ambient light is going red or red like that the way you want it is just purple it has a lot of colors here you can see yellow just sun yellow super cool anyway yeah I think you know it already the vents here are also super nice the best vents I love the way they made it with this chrome looks super nice and the LED here it's gorgeous the best best on the market even the glossy plastic the way they integrate it look good start stop button as well here we have soft material all over the dashboard the glow box it's huge for a small car like that you can see you have huge space there also here are the controller for the air air vents and the blinkers and all that stuff you already know it I think um, also down here we have glossy glossy plastic black glossy plastic everywhere on the center console you can also open it you have a space for your phone here I think you have a USB-C port there you have two cup holders you have this controller for the multimedia system here we have the cameras uh, the parking cameras I think you know it already but I think you have to start the car I will show you later also the, the car information here you just press this button and you see there all the information about the car parking sensors lane assist uh, and all that stuff you can see adaptive cruise control sensors ACP assistant here you can see the car can read the speed limit active brake control camera and parking you can see uh, around the car I will show you in the moment toll uh, assistant and also uh, all that kind of uh, safety assistant are right here here is the light and all that information I don't want to go into detail right now because it will take me too long it's so uh, you can connect your uh, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay and all that uh, telephone that you have you have information about the car you have to start the engine first time wait a second like that and just put this on small because then you cannot hear me because the air come the vents it will work wait a second let's put the vents down on the legs better like that not come on legs 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 where is the legs oh, I don't know how to put it on the legs uh, zero okay anyway better like that anyway uh, the climatic system worked perfect I like it it's, it's fantastic here we have information about the car the consumption and you can see all kind of statistic and information there also comfort you see it before you change the, the media radio navigation telephone navigation it's fantastic also one of the best one of the best outsider on the market uh, I love it I really love it I really love this navigation system and you have free free uh, 300 uh, 3d sorry 
you have 3D navigation here, so it's pretty awesome. The navigation is pretty cool. Also, you can see the navigation here on the center uh, cockpit. There you have all kind of information about the car. Uh, it's pretty awesome. The, the resolution is great. You can control it from here, from those buttons on the steering wheel. So if you see you have a touch screen here that you touch it and then you change different settings. For example, just like that. So you go, you go to home and then when you go to home you can change it from here. Just like that you, you can choose style and showing. So you can choose classic, progressive. Uh, you can see, you can change this settings and you can see different stuff there in the middle that's pretty cool progressive sportly sport or classic let's go classic you will see it's all go blue super nice so you can customize this the way you want it it's super nice you have great visibility from the driver point of view i have to tell you from here you have great great visibility uh also on the windows you see it before and uh, here you can also control the display there from here very simple and then press this button for cameras I think it should work I'm not sure why it's not working anyway radio navigation you have shortcut buttons here for navigation you press this navigation and it go directly to navigation or radio or telephone wherever you want you just use these shortcut buttons you have controllers here uh, for volume and all that stuff they are super cool and this touch screen you know this little touch screen that you can control different stuff it's pretty awesome I like that I like that touch screen they think to make this little touch screen there it's super cool who who would have think about that super nice a small touch screen right here that you can control different function great job Mercedes I didn't see this in other cars and I love this also the steering wheel it's gorgeous gorgeous great quality and you can see how nice the shape it's nice the grip it's great and also the the, the visibility between them it's it's fantastic great great job also we have a speaker here that look nice I love it I really love it I really love everything about uh, this car here we have this center armrest leather great quality you press this button and here we have two USB-C port and a lot of space here where you can put your stuff pretty useful as well I like that I really like it it's really nice um, yes now I just start the engine for a bit if you press the brake and the start the engine in the same time and then if I close this door right now and then if I go to reverse for example right now from here it's the same like on the Tesla you have this uh, this stick here that you can change the gear you go down for drive you go up for reverse you press this and you go in park mode and then if you go in reverse you can see we have 360 camera degrees so you can see around the car it's pretty awesome and also you can change the settings from here you can change from here what you would like to see how cool is that huh and the the the, the camera i have to tell you the camera resolution it's gorgeous guys it's gorgeous the camera resolution it's fantastic you have to keep this in mind not only the camera but the screen's resolution it's fantastic it's work so fast when you touch it it's work directly so anyway, let's drive uh, back a little bit. Let's park the car back. So you can hear the engine. It is super, super quiet. And you can see the sensors there. They can read, they know how much space it is there in the back. Pretty awesome. And then you just press the parking button. And now the car is parking. And you can hear, you can see here we have the parking brake you just have to pull it like that and the car it's staying there you see all the information on the head-up display right now pretty awesome and you can hear the engine it is super silent super silent I like that some information about the car now I think you're interested in 
So we have here this Mercedes-Benz A-Class 254 Matic IMG line. So here is the price and all that information that probably you are interested in. Here are all the uh, packages and all the prices so you can save it. You can pause the video and you can read it as well. Also the price 56000 for this That's sport much. car. Uh, it's pretty amazing That's price because the car have a lot of tech. Anyway, you can pause the video and read all that stuff uh, that you want. I think I show you everything. You can also speak with the car. I don't have time to show you this. You can check out my other video. And then I have a full review with this multimedia M box from Mercedes. Yeah, Peter. Now I will want to close this video because here it's super hot. And I have to go out and I cannot start the climatic system because you cannot hear me. It's too windy in the camera. Uh, I love the car. It's great, great uh, quality in the car. I like all that new technology. Let's stop the engine. Was möchten Sie tun? Oh, shut up. And uh, great quality in the car. One of the best car in this class. Uh, great engine. A lot of new technology and the price. It's 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 kind of good anyway i hope you enjoyed the review guys i hope it was helpful for you please subscribe to my channel check out my other videos uh thank you very much for watching uh and i see you soon with the next videos guys don't forget i go to frankfurt next month 10 september and i will add a lot of new cars for example the electric volkswagen id3 and also uh many others the porsche taycan electric and all that stuff so stay tuned stay on my channel subscribe and i see you soon bye guys